capture um, the emotions and the stories of people's lives and uh, and our own life and stuff like that. You know, I look back at this book and uh, I remember when, you know, I was writing the book, you know, mm -hmm. my, my main goal was to be on Oprah of course. and, uh, you know, jump on her couch and sure. I'd sell a million copies the next day kind of thing. Like right. that's every writer's goal, right? <laughs> I mean, it's not to say it still won't happen. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> right. Well, it's funny because, you know, people have heard glimpses of, you know, I'll talk about my book, but then I'll like pull it back kind of thing. Uh -huh. And I'm kind of going through this um, hesitation uh, about fully releasing it and promoting it. And perhaps maybe this is a, a catalyst for mm -hmm. doing so. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, having three boys going, you know, in some very uh, influential times of their ages and stuff like that. Right. You know, there's a lot in this book that... Um, you know, it's some of my darker days and stuff like that. Yeah. And so I have this hesitation where I don't want them to grow up in the shadow of the book if it did go off really big or whatever. And then, you know, there's all these stories about, well, don't you know what your dad did? <laughs> kind of stuff. <laughs> but I've talked to some people and they say that, you know, having that transparency and vulnerability and honesty with your kids saying, hey, look, I've gone through these things. And, uh, you know, maybe it actually would be beneficial. What are your thoughts? It gives a legitimacy to it, you know? I mean, you can't... I think the thing I struggle with, especially with parenting now, is that you try to be, uh, I don't know, you're always dad, quote unquote, and it's just, I think, I think showing that you're actually a fully formed human being with a lot of different experiences gives you more credence when they're teenagers, they're going through things, and it's not just dad doesn't understand me and blah, you know, it's no, I've been through it. I've been there, dude. And, uh, here's what you should try to avoid, you know? And, but the thing is, is that they have to have those experiences. I mean, they can listen to you and they could believe you and they, you know, obviously they, you know, they love you and they, they listen to you to a certain extent, <laughs> but they have to have those too. And I think that's the, that's the most painful thing is that what you went through your kids kind of have to go through too and there's nothing you can really do you can try to shield them you can try to point them in the right direction but ultimately we don't really learn things as humans unless people can tell us those things a million times but we don't learn those things until we experience them you know and so i would encourage you to go through with it i would i you know and i i always have thought you should but i wouldn't worry so much about you know I think your boys will see it as, um, I think they'll learn a lot about you that maybe they don't see on a day-to-day -day basis when you're just dad and you're taking them to school and mm -hmm. telling them to do their homework and, you know, take out the trash or whatever. Um, I learned a lot more about myself when I saw, started seeing my dad in a, as a human, not just as dad, not just as the guy that paid the bills and told me to stop being an idiot when I needed to be, stop being an idiot. You know, I was, when I learned how much my dad was just a human being and he had done dumb things and he'd done smart things. And, you know, I, I think, uh, that taught me a lot, you know, more about myself and I was able to appreciate it, you know, a lot more than just like, dad doesn't let me do what I want. <laughs> you know, I think, I think that's important transition and you're in the middle of it. So good luck. Yeah. Jack's 14, <laughs> Justin's almost 12 and uh, Jet's almost nine. Yeah. And so, you know, um, it's interesting to be a parent right now. And what's really interesting too, is that, you know, Jack's 14 and I was a little bit older than him when my mom got sick kind of thing. Right. And what's interesting is I remember my mindset at being 15, 16 years old when that was happening is that, uh, well, she's old and I'm going to, you know, I'm almost an adult. Like you, you have this, you know, sense of, uh, self-accomplishment at 16 when you haven't done anything in life, right? Well, you got your license. <laughs> Barely. <laughs> Barely. Ink was still uh, wet on it. Right. But, um, you know, and, and so I see the dynamic uh, of Jack with my wife, Jen, mm -hmm. and that mother-son bond and stuff like that. And it um, makes me realize, man, I was just a baby. I was oh, just yeah. a kid. Yeah. Literally a child. Yeah. You know, not I was not a man. I was a child. Oh, yeah. He lost his mom. Yeah, and you were forced to, well, you grew up pretty quick. Had <laughs> you to. had to. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, 